Sup guys, Heking here, bringing you a trailer breakdown for Resident Evil 4 Remake. So yeah, I did say I was going to do this and I'm going to keep to my word and do this and go for it and discuss a few things here and there regarding, uh, you know, some information that we're already aware of and some information that some people probably haven't heard now. So, you know, I like to keep people updated and keep repeating the same things so they know what's going on. So... Uh, before I begin, of course, remember guys to like and subscribe, please, and yeah, and uh, so yeah, first, 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 first of all, things to keep in mind, the game apparently is being uh, developed by Capcom's Division 1, who've pretty much made most of the Resident Evil games, I believe, I believe they did Resident Evil 2 Remake, uh, M2 was originally making the remake for 4, uh, they're the ones who did the Resident Evil 3 remake, I know, oh my god, they're doing, no, they're not doing it anymore, they got booted off the project because they wanted to do a fateful remake after the negative criticism of the game with RE3 remake, so yeah, they were going to give us a fateful remake, Capcom came in and said, no, you're not doing that, we want a reimagined story, we want, a, we want the, the gameplay features from uh, RE2 and RE3 remakes. So yeah, they got booted off the project and apparently they're working on Ada's separate ways and Division 1 is now working on this game and they've probably, worked, they've probably been working on this game since uh, basically the very beginning of uh, 2021 now. So it's been a year and, 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 and a good half now, I believe, since they've been working on this project. And yeah, uh, just, just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, is there going to be cut content? Of course there's going to be cut content. But uh, from what I've heard from uh, Dos Gollum as well, if you guys go on his Twitter, he does say this game's actually going to be pretty amazing apparently so you know he's trying to sort of calm the flames and say you know it's, it, it's going to be good uh, and this is a guy who says he's done with leaking and yet he's still talking about things and he's like i'm going to hype up re4 it's like if you're done with leaking you're not going to be sitting there hyping up a game so you know you know what's that saying cheater you know uh, a, a cheater never lose it never changes its spots or, or something a leopard never changes its spots so yeah uh but yeah, but and not enough about that. The point is, the game is going to be good, apparently, and uh, it's been made by a better developer than M2 was. Uh, but there, there's going to be changes. There's going to be tons of changes, and this trailer pretty much gave us a good idea of the tone and the changes we might be getting. So yeah, let's go through this. And start starting now, by the way, guys. So first up, uh, we got the the first thing that we see is the release date, the 24th of March. I can't get that week off. Apparently, it's already been taken. And the only other week I can get off, uh, I guess the first week when I get back from work is, let me see, uh, when is the 24th, it's, it's set the 20, 20, so I can't get the 24th, 26th, 25th, 26th, I'm trying to get the 27th off, so that's gone, so 27th, 28th, 29th, 30, is the 31st in March, and then 1, 2, so 3, I, mean, I need to get that day booked, uh, if I can, uh, when we get the chance to book off, yeah, uh, which is going to be annoying, but yeah, we'll see, anyway, um, yeah, it's gonna be annoying. I, I want that week off. I want off. Um, yeah. Anyway, so it, it's crazy that they give us the release date straight off. I mean, Capcom likes to do that. They like to show off that it's like, yeah, this game's coming soon. And this was a nice way of letting us know, like, yeah, this game is coming out. This game's coming out very soon. Don't worry, guys, it's coming. So yeah, I, I assumed it would come out in January, but no, it's March. So you know, close enough. Close enough. We we start off with the Spanish music. You know, at first I thought this was the Last of Us remake. I honestly thought it was the Last of Us remake. And then I saw the R. And then I realised there was Spanish music playing in the background. And then I realised, yeah, it's 100% it's RE4 remake. I was convinced. And then... Yeah, then the end, and then you got the letters forming. It's a great reveal, it's a great reveal. We're like, Capcom knows how to reveal these games now, like... Like, they've done a good job of revealing uh, the RE titles. So we hear this, we hear this noise, you know, on the rooster located BB Eagle, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm assuming that's properly uh, maybe agents sent by the president to find Ashley, and they've located her in the village. So, and then we get this flashback of Leon meeting President Graham, and uh, he's you know sending him to rescue Ashley by himself. Now, I was kind of hoping. Uh, that maybe they would introduce Krauser and and have and have them both go in and maybe rescue her, you know, do some sort of thing there, or maybe if we're lucky, we get some sort of flashback showing Krauser's death, wherever, you know, in in in, in the crash, you know, if they're going to keep that plot line, and then Leon's still going to be surprised, you know, at least get an introduction to the character before he's just randomly introduced. Uh, the the thing is, we don't even know if Krauser's in the game though. That's the thing. Like, uh, if if the leaks uh, from from 4chan a few weeks ago are to believe, he's cut from the game apparently. 
So maybe he's not in it. Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah. Moving on. So first stop, we see the first thing we see is Ashley running. She her outfit looks very different. Uh but uh, apparently, apparently it, it, it's a similar outfit. It's just that she's got this orange jacket on now. And from what people have said, this is uh, this is uh, uh, sort of based on the original concept for Ashley uh, that they were doing. I think back for three point uh, five, apparently. So I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, it seems they're going to be re that Capcom. Uh, Capcom likes to renew a lot of old ideas for their for their games, uh, for other games. And it looks like they're going they're going back to three point five for this. Uh, a key thing to note is that uh, this might be gameplay as well, maybe, but we'll see, we'll see. So the next shot is of an animal, it looks like, dead. Don't know if it's the dog. Might be a dog. It looks like it might have hoops, so it might not be a dog. Don't know. You see Leon, I think, going through the jungle. Uh, first thing first, uh, the, the color uh, uh, of, of this trailer or of this of the environment, the tone, the very the very sort of bluish kind of color that they're going with. It's very 3.5, very Hookman version, if you will, or very Forkman version. Uh, so the sort of brown tape is gone and it's replaced by this sort of t overall tone of color, which gives it more of a horror vibe. So it does feel like this game's going more for a survival horror approach. We see Ashley uh, and she's standing by a gate. She's looking up. There's crows. It looks like this is uh, somewhat like gameplay. So I'm thinking we will be playing as Ashley. Uh, she does have that jacket on. Uh, but if you look closely at her, at her outfit in the beginning, it does look like she's still got the skirt and the sweater in there. So it could be a case where we play as both characters in the beginning and then they both lose their jacket. So, you know, like it's like it's like parallel symbolism. It's like poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> we see We see Leon then coming in. And we see him going to what looks like to be the house from the original game. Updated, of course. Uh, look to see if there's a window there. Someone said there might not be a window. I do see something upstairs, so you might be able to go to the second floor. A lot of material just left there. He's entering. A lot of logs. We see the... Okay, the next shot is the village, which is the most important detail. We see a good shot of the village here. Sort of revamped, rechanged. We we got that little fire parrot burning in the middle in the center there. Uh, we d I don't know if there's a police stuck to a hook on there or not, but we see Leon standing by the fire pier. So maybe the officer, maybe they're going to keep that part. You know that part of the game where the officer's body is burning. We see Louis Sarah uh, from the back. We see his jacket. He's got the jacket. He's got the red nine. You know I love that gun, the red nine. You know it's all about red. Yeah, what is that? What is that saying? You know. Uh, uh, an avid gun collector, right? So yeah, I'm hoping they confirm that the merchant is this. I'm hoping the merchant is a character, a proper character. I'm hoping to see what they do with that. But yeah, that red nine man. We see the Ganado, the first Ganado that we see. He's got red eyes. He's very dirty. He's very unkept. So obviously, they're they're going more for a sort of visual look in terms of how the enemies look. Um, they're not taking care of themselves. Clearly, there's something wrong here. Uh, we see what might be the church. I believe this might be the church, or it might be a castle environment, but we see a lot of uh, Los Illuminados uh, symbols hanging from chains. We see some uh, Los Illuminados members and priests sort of staggering. This might be the castle area, in fact, uh, that we're seeing here. Very different, very dark. Yeah, you can, again, you can see the sort of different tone here. You know, the forest, the village, looks like it's got this very sort of blue taint to it, and then it looks like this castle area, whatever, has got a very yellowish feel look to it. So yeah, uh, very different uh, light in an atmosphere being used, which is great. Uh, no sign of the island though, so is the island cut? Are we just going to go to the castle and then we find that the underground lab is located under the sewers maybe? In the mountain? Something like that? Uh, we see Ada, we see a glimpse of Ada here. It looks like this might be the castle. It might be uh, It might be the village because uh, depending on how you play the game, you either run into Ada you know, in the village, you, you know, you can unlock that extra cutscene, or you meet her in the castle. But this could be, this could be Mendes' house, or it could be the castle where you meet her. Her outfit looks very different. It doesn't look like she's wearing the dress. Uh, she's still got the red. It, it looks like she's got more of a, she's going for more of a combat movement free sort of style feel to it, which is great. You know, I, 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 it never made sense why she would wear a bloody dress and go into this. You know, you're a COVID spy, you're going into an unknown area. You want to be able to run freely you want to be able to stay warm etc etc so i'm liking the updated designs for the characters essentially so i'm all for this we see leon in the boat uh, knocked out in the lake 
So yeah, the lake is coming back. That's confirmed. Uh, does that mean that we're going to fight uh, Del Lago? The fact that they even showed the lake makes me think that yes, Del Lago is in the game. So yeah, we're going to be fighting a giant salamander, guys. Definitely. The next shot is of Mendes. We see our first glimpse of Mendes in a hallway and he's wearing a hat now. So I think this is, I don't know if this is from original versions of our RE4 or 3.5 maybe or before that got changed, etc, etc. But uh, from the way this is angled and, uh, and shot, it looks like this might be gameplay. And, and the impression I'm getting is that the Mandas is probably going to be the first stalker enemy of the game. So I'm thinking if the village, castle and island are intact, that's free areas. And that also means that we might get potentially three different stalkers. So I'm thinking... The way Mandis looks, he looks like Mr. X. So I'm thinking he's going to be the stalker enemy of this, of the village section. Unless they expand his role and he just and he chases you for the castle as well. But no, I think Mandis is going to be the stalker for the village. Not Dr. Salvador like I had thought. Yeah, continuing on with the stalker talk. So yeah, Mandis is going to be the stalker for the village. Uh, and I'm thinking the stalker for the castle is going to be a Ver Verdigo Verdigano, whatever his name was. A Ver Ver you know, Salazar's right hand. He's going to stalk you. And uh, the stalker for the island is 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 probably going to be Krauser if he is still intact, or it's going to be it. I don't know how that works because you got a giant freaking monster chasing you, but you know, maybe may, well, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe maybe they'll reduce its size, or maybe they'll do something where it starts off as a humanoid creature that chases you, and then as you get to its boss fight, it mutates into that giant sort of uh, crab, sort of four-legged uh, quadruped monster. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but. Uh, I'm very curious, I'm very curious about this. Moving on, we see Leon, he's sort of looking at his hands, sort of feeling triggered, so obviously he's, he's, he's infected at this point. Probably that moment where he gets to the cabin after the boat and, and, he, and, he, and he's freaking out and he collapses. We see a glimpse of Ashley, she's in the woods, you can see the reflection of the woods in her eyes. We see a close-up of a Granado with an axe going for a hit, an attack. Uh, and then uh, the next shot is, I believe, of the church, so we're outside the church. You got crows flying, people screaming. So uh, before we, uh, so we cut to the next shot. And we can hear Sadler talking, uh, but this shot here is very interesting. It's a very circular shot, and it looks like it's four hands sort of reaching out. There's blood dripping down. However, it it could also be wings. Now, uh, looking at this very carefully, you can sort of see the shape of a moon and and an orb. So it looks like it's one of those. Uh, Symbols where it's like the moon and then the, and then the sun is inside it and then it's got like hands or wings sticking out But this sort of resembles uh, the logo for Modern, Modern Miranda's cult in RE8 So potentially this could be a connection or a reference to that uh, For all we know this game could actually connect to RE8 for all we know because in RE8, we found out that Miranda was uh, Oswald E. Spencer's mentor. You know, he, he got a lot of the ideas about what he wanted to do from her. And in the end, he decided to go for, like, you know, viruses to, in order to bring about a utopia or whatever. While she wanted to go about with uh, that parasite or the mold, if you will. So, that, that, you know, that was the big connection there in terms of how it connected to all previous RE games. So, this could be another connection here. It could be a case that... Uh, Maybe we're going to get development from Sadler where he, maybe he was also one of Modern Miranda's students and he got influenced by her. And this is this is sort of like a proto version or a new version of the cult that she created back in the village in her area, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's a nice way of connecting it to future games and sort of, you know, keep it. Because if there's one complaint about Ori 4 that I've always had, it's that it feels like a side story. It doesn't feel connected to any of the uh, previous games. And I'm hoping that when this game comes out, that when this remake comes out, that it does connect to previous games. We already have that connection with a nemesis in terms of a nemesis being uh, the the parasite for a nemesis being the uh, being a prototype version of the Lost Plagas or being inspired by the Lost Plagas. So maybe we see connections like that. Hopefully we get connections of Sadler being connected to Umbrella or Spencer. Maybe there was some talks there that you had from Spencer. Maybe maybe they met. I don't know. But uh, seeing the symbol here, it does feel like maybe there's a connection to Mother Miranda instead or maybe it's all going to be connected I don't know maybe they were all students of Mother Miranda like the, uh, the cult of Miranda if you will or if you will etc uh, etc et but we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see but this is this is a direction in a positive this is a positive direction for, uh, in my in my opinion to take the series in like keeping that connected keeping it all connected and not having it feel oh it's a side story you don't need to play it because you don't know the rest of the plot the way Sadler's talking here, it, it feels like it's an updated dialogue line of, uh, let us give you our power. 
So I feel like I feel like a lot of the lines are going to be updated to feel more serious, if you will, like uh, and less cheesy. So it looks like the cheese is probably being cut. And if you guys remember in the Japanese dub of the game, the all that sort of cheesy dialogue was never in there to begin with. So you know that was just something that the Western version of the game did. So maybe they're going to get rid of that and go for a more serious approach and tone. I mean the tone already looks serious enough, so you know let's up that with the dialogue, if you will. So we got a glimpse of Sadler. Very modern Miranda-like as well, but uh, yeah, we can see the staff. He's got the parasitic staff. That's very Sadler-like because he was the one with the staff all the time. And you can see the, like the tentacles or whatever coming out. And then we get our title reveal. We see Leon in the car. Very similar to the opening of uh, the original RE4 Leon in the car. Just like that. He's re referencing, he's remembering the, the time, his time for not in Raccoon City. So hopefully we get more references to Raccoon City. Hopefully we get references to Sherry and Claire and what happened in between those events. Uh, maybe get an explanation as as to why Leon is working for the US government and revealing that he's doing it in order to protect Sherry. Getting our first glimpse properly of Ashley in a picture. She looks very different. She looks a bit better. She doesn't have the big ears. So, you know, great design, in my opinion. Now we get a, we, now we get a look at the daytime of the village area, it seems, which is great because uh, a lot of rumours said that, uh, suggested that we weren't, we weren't going to get uh, a daylight in the in the remake, but it looks like we are. And if you look closely, it, it seems that that might be the clock tower in the distance from the original village area. So, yeah, this does, this looks like it's the opening of the game. And he's still got his jacket as well. Remember, Leon loses his jacket. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's the uh, breakdown for the Resident Evil 4 trailer. It ends with... The reveal that there's also a PlayStation VR 2 content that's also in development. We do get some quick flashes though. Let's see if I can slow it down a bit. Of Leon House, a bridge it looks like. Cabin, bridge, gate. I've mostly seen something there. An enemy, one of the Ganados coming at him, and that's it really. But yeah, no overall, not overly important stuff at the end there really. But um, yeah, general. General gist of this. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good. Uh, this camera keeps uh, shutting off. It's really annoying me now. But yeah, overall, uh, it looks the trailer looks decent. Again, it's just the first trailer. We don't really get a good idea what the actual combat of the game is going to be like. Uh, I'm assuming throughout the remainder of the year, we're going to be getting updates. So yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it's going to be great. That the story will be better. I mean, they've already confirmed that they have reimagined it. Um, if you go on their site, they literally list about what the game's about. Survival is just the beginning. Resident Evil 4 is a remake of the 2005 original Resident Evil 4. Reimagined for 2023 to bring state-of-the-art survival horror. Remember, that's the key word. Remember, the, the original Resident Evil 4 was known as survival action. This says survival horror. Resident Evil 4 pre uh, preserves the essence of the original game while introducing modernized gameplay, a reimagined storyline, and vividly detailed graphics to make this the latest survival horror game where life and death, terror, and coffer cof cof intersect. So, it's pretty much a big confirmation that the entire story is going to be reimagined. I mean, it's the same thing that they did with uh, RE2 and RE3. Their stories were reimagined. They're not, like I said, they're not remakes. Those games weren't remakes. They're re they were reimaginings. And uh, the Resident Evil 4 remake is also a reimagining. I mean, think of it this way: what what title sounds better? Resident Evil 2 reimagining. Resident Evil 3 reimagining. Resident Evil 4 reimagined. It doesn't really slip off the tongue. I mean, Resident Evil 4 Remake. It sounds a lot better. But, uh, yeah, that's the point. And hopefully the reimagining of this game will be better handled than what they did with uh, those first two. Especially since the original creator, Shinji Mikami himself, has said that he wants the story to be better done than what he did. Since he, he, he wrote that in two weeks. I mean, it's kind of amazing for someone to sit there and in two weeks write up a plot, you know what I mean? But... Uh, yeah, that plot, that plot for the overall game was, was very, very disappointing. I was never a fan of it. I was never a fan of the original story of Resident Evil 4. As a game, it's freaking great. I love playing it. I've loved playing it growing up. But as a story, as, as part of the Resident Evil canon and that, I've always found it weird, unnecessary, and utterly pointless. Uh, it doesn't do what it needs to do as a sequel, especially since you have like things like Leon and Ada reuniting, and then they don't really acknowledge that. So I'm hoping that things like that have changed here. That when we when we get the reun reuni reunion between Leon and Ada, it's going to be a case of oh my god, you're alive! I thought you were dead the whole time, etc., etc. Uh, if Krause is in this game, I'm hoping they do him 
better than he was in the original, maybe reference Dark Side Chronicles, or maybe his car, and, and uh, you know, that game's no longer canon. I don't know, uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, I'm interested to see what Salazar looks like, etc, etc. There's so many things they still didn't show off, but uh, as the months go, we are going to start seeing a few things. So yeah, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see when the next gaming event's going to be. Uh, I think I think there's the uh, Summer Gaming Fest, so maybe Capcom's going to so show some stuff there, perhaps, if we're lucky. I mean, this game should be far ahead at, at a point where we should be able to see gameplay and combat and that, etc, etc. But yeah, overall, I can't wait for this. I'm excited. I'm obviously going to be in one of my uh, moods, but I'm going to be sitting down and, and trying to play through all the Resident Evil games again. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be fun to do. Maybe try and platinum some of them, since I haven't platinumed a lot of them in a while. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.